how to add button in MailChimp template. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a button into the template of your email marketing campaign. So it is really easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over MailChimp.com. Log in for your account if you have one, if you don't sign up, then you are going to see here the admin dashboard. So right here we have the admin dashboard. We are going to visit here the dashboard itself. We have some quick actions, email performance, audience, and etc. So you need only to click on create email. You're going to click on create. Here we have the type of creation or the features that MailChimp will present you. We have email automations, website landing pages, and creative assistant. So for the emails, we have regular emails, plain text, and template. You're going to choose here whatever suits you well. Then you are going to click on a design email. For example, I am going to design the email directly. Don't forget to use and set the uh, recipients. Then here we have the sender address. As you can see here, we have the sender address. We have the subject, which is the uh, object of this or the subject of this specific email. For example, you are going to put here invitation for uh, here a webinar like this. And for the preview text, don't forget to make it here like this, or you can add some emojis. So you're going to be a lot confident about your email to not to head over the spam. So when you finish, you are going to click on save. Then we are going to see here the send time. You can go ahead and set it, uh, set this for send now after you have finished your email, or you can schedule a time. When you finish, you are going to click on save. Make sure that you have checked all the cases right here. And the last one, which is the fifth one, is the content. Here, you're going to click on design email, and then you are going to choose the template. Here we have the MailChimp template. You can go ahead and code your own and see also the template. If you have already a going on email, you are going to see, see it here on saved and also on the draft. Now, go ahead and choose the template that you want to work on. For example, this one. Then you are going to see the uh, template itself. Now, as you can see here, we have already a template or a button within this template. You can go ahead and modify it. So I'm going to remove it and let's just see how we can add it from scratch. Now we have uh, three methods to add uh, the button to this email. The first method right here is to add directly the button from uh, the content blocks. So you are going to click on the add. Here we have the content. Then you are going to see here and see called the button. So we are going to add this button, drag and drop it. So add it wherever you want. And here we have the button. So you can modify the label of the button. And also you can add a link to it. For example, here, we're going to click on the button. Here you can go ahead and add a text to it. For example, download or buy. For example, now can go ahead and add the button of buy now. You can add a link or link it to something like a website, email, phone number, a file, landing page, or an anchor. So after you have said that, you're going to add the URL. You can get the option to open it into another tab. So you can go ahead when someone click on the button, they will be uh, opened, uh, the link will be opened in, into another tab and not losing here the site of the current tab. Now, this is the first method. The second method is to add a dynamic or a GIF button. For example, here, I'm going to visit, let's say here, Canva. Then we are going to create our button. So let's suppose that we are going to create our button. I'm going to create a design. Then we are going to click on custom size. Then I'm going simply to put, for example, here, let's say 150 by, I'm not going to put a square, but I'm going to put here 75. I'm going to create this design. We are going to see here, this is the 
a small design so i'm going to add an element so we are going to put here button or by now for example we have a lot of elements so we are going to see here the most suitable ones you can go ahead and see the graphics there's a lot of uh, buttons or dynamic buttons as you can see here we have this one let's go ahead and add this this is a gif so you are going to see here the button let's say that this is a gif button so we are going to click on share download make sure that you are going to download it as a gif click on download and wait for it here it will be processing and also downloading that specific button here we have it now we are going to see the button here we have it now let's go back to mailchimp we are going to add the button in a format of an image so we are going to add an image here we are going to search for the image drag and drop it then you are going to click on add upload image here we have the button wait for the upload and the processing of the button right away as you can see here we have the button so make sure to add the button uh, for the size that you want for example you can edit the image or you can make it a little bit smaller i don't know about the editor here in this specific area you can go ahead and make it for example like that or here we have for example this so you can go ahead and make it like this you can edit it and then you are going to click on save go ahead and put for example this is much ugly so we are going to remove it i'm going to add it again as the image so we are going to browse the images boom here we have so we are going to upload it here you can go ahead and get the specific format or you can add it for example as a logo so we are going to add the logo here then you are going to replace the logo by the uploads so i'm going to insert it as an upload and here here we have it so this is a much simpler you can go ahead right here and link this logo to something else so it will work as a button so you can uh, link it to another website an email or something else this is the second method for the third method we're going to create one from here so you are going to add a heading this is the first step then this heading is going to be for example by now uh, this is it so let's go ahead and make these smaller so then you are going simply to add for example a block background or something like that go ahead and add this then you are going simply to modify this specific area so I'm going to put a text highlight like this and it could be for uh, resembling a button you can go ahead then and link it go ahead and put the URL here for a website email and etc like those before and boom here we have three methods to create buttons that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.